Hey guys, Smunky here bringing you a tutorial on how to install Zombies Mod Pack, primarily the flying portion of this uh, mod because that's really the only portion of the mod I use. So I don't really know anything else about the mod besides the flying portion. So that's what I'm going to give you guys today. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, before I go any further though, well, let me get on the page first. This will be in the description guys. So you won't have to Google it, but it's the first one there. It's not the big deal, but it will be in the description anyway. Uh, but before I go any further now, I will let you know that this is on a Mac, and configuration will be pretty much the same for PC and Mac, maybe a little bit different. Um, but installation, on the other hand, that's a little bit more... Uh, different instructions for Mac and PC so if you have a PC and you're watching this go ahead and uh, go watch an installation video for this mod for PC um, because if you're doing it for Mac or if you follow this tutorial it's gonna be an installation tutorial for a Mac and you'll see why if you continue watching this video but anyway now that I have my Mac viewers attention let's go ahead and download this mod so anyway right here its current version is 5.2 for minecraft pre-release 1.3 for 1.9 so that would be that download link but if you go lower in the bold bright red text it says will not work for previous minecraft versions look here for version history okay well oh nope nope no don't do that version history all right, so here's our pre-releases for 1.9. Let's go ahead and go to 1.8 since that is the current public real version of the Minecraft update that we have. So we'll download that and not the one I just did. Uh, hopefully I don't get those two confused. Uh, shoot. I believe, oh yeah, that's version five. All right, so now that we have our mod pack, let's go ahead and make it easy for you and just move it to your desktop real quick so we can do some work on it but ignore that for now uh, go ahead and pull out terminal uh, the, if you don't have terminal on here like I do which probably most people don't go ahead and go to your finder and search terminal and I have many other videos that pretty much show you or pretty much just use terminal all the time but for those who don't know how to access terminal there you go so go ahead and get a new window of terminal out uh, if you already have them open and you're gonna wanna copy the first uh, terminal code that I will have in the description for me it'll just be right here so let's go ahead and save that um, here we go so we'll get this and we will copy that into terminal and you're gonna click enter what that's gonna do is it is going to uh, it's gonna open up this random folder in your uh, home folder or whatever uh, your user folder and it will be called MCTMP you're gonna want to click on that and this is all the classes you have in your Minecraft pretty amazing stuff huh <laughs> it's a lot of stuff goes into Minecraft so don't even worry about any of that. It's all confusing, and I know you're probably like, <laughs> trust me, I know. But uh, go ahead and go to your uh, zombie mod pack folder and click on classes. Once you get in the classes folder, you're going to get another bunch of these, uh, another set of these class files that you just saw in the uh, MCTMP folder. Go ahead and copy all 27 items. You can do this by either clicking the gear up here or right clicking on the highlighted items and to highlight them all at once like that you just click on one and scroll up or down um, and I'm, I apologize to those who already know this kind of stuff for Mac but in case there's some new Mac users out there teaching you some tricks here and there so hope you enjoy that um, but anyway go ahead and go back to your uh, user folder and then go to MCTMP and oh, go ahead and just right click on TM MCTMP and paste items it's gonna ask you to replace all of these go ahead and apply to all replace and that'll just replace everything so now go ahead and go into your MCTMP um, organize them by name because you're gonna want to search meta INF I think it's what it's called uh, meta, meta INF there it is so you're gonna click on that and see these two Mojang files? Go in and delete these. 
So just throw them in the trash. Manifests can stay. All right. So now that you have that, I'm just going to clear my trash because it's junk. Mm, should be going. Wow, that's a lot of items. Um, all right. So once you do that, you will have everything set in the MCTMP. So go ahead and go down to the description again and get the second code and paste that into your terminal uh, window that you had open before and enter and that'll get rid of the mctmp file thus confirming everything i suppose you could say that so after you do that you can go in and exit out of that term terminal window you won't need it anymore go ahead and next step would be to go to applications actually before you go to applications take a little shortcut here go ahead and go to zombie mod pack configuration do the same thing you did copy these files so right uh uh, highlight all right click there you go and then once you do that go ahead and go to applic no 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 your users file and then you go to applications am i doing this right no oh, wow, wow 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 sorry guys i'm getting a little bit confused here i'm, I'm confusing myself go to your users uh file here now go to library and then you go to application support that's where i was getting application from and then you'll have a list of these. You'll actually see Minecraft here. It just magically is there. Whoa. Bet you didn't know that. So uh, this is just your Minecraft stuff, like single player and all that good stuff. That's just hidden, tucked away in here. So anyway, you're going to want to go to the mods folder that's already there. It's already there for you. And you're going to want to add a new folder. Go in and call this zombie. Just all lowercase zombie. Just like that. All right. And now, you're going to want to paste those items that you had, all these files. Uh, and what's funny is, for the flying mod, all you're going to be using is this one. You don't have to go over those. Those are just junk for us. We don't need that. So go ahead and flying mod will be in here. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down here. And we'll find flying. I think I just passed it. Nope. Hold on, guys. There it is. All right. Oh, there, there, there it is. Okay. So, flying mod. This is where the flying mod is. Almost mid-page, I guess. Just a little bit above mid-page. So, right here it says uncommon to enable flying mod. What you got to do is see these little number signs here? That is the enable and disable of something. So, pretty much it makes it a comment and not a comment. Not a comment means it won't be read. It, or... A comment will not be read. It's just a comment. It's not there to be read by the system. If you uncomment the comment, then it will read it and the game will read it and whatnot. So go ahead and get rid of that number sign and you're going to want to enable it. Yes. So turns flying mode on. Go ahead and ignore these. These are not needed. Uh, in fact, they just kind of jumble up your flying mod, and I don't know why. But go ahead and skip those two, and go ahead and run on down to Toggle's Fly Mode. Go ahead and get rid of that. And I highly rec not recommend not using F, because F is uh, fog, unless you have different buttons and whatnot. I use uh, X, <clears throat> and uh, that I just use X. I get used to that. Um, flying up, I use... Yeah, I do easy. I use E, and then flying down, I use R. Um, let's keep going. Flying speed modifier. Eh, left shift, I don't know why it's still left shift, because everyone knows left shift, for most people, is crouch in Minecraft. So you don't want to be crouching and flying all over the place, you know? You want to you wanna change that. So go ahead and change that to something you're capable of doing or something, you know, you won't have to stretch your, key, your fingers across the keyboard. I do C, uh, so C will give me a speed modifier. Um, speed modifier, don't even worry about that, that's not a big deal. Pretty much what it is, is if you want to make it a toggle to where you click C to turn it on, click C to turn it off, you can do that. Or if you just want to hold it down, that's what I do. I just hold mine down, let go, and I want to slow back down. But that's up to you guys, that's just a personal opinion on that. Running speed modifi modifier, um, 
running speed. See, this is new with the running. Um, I actually, honestly, just go ahead and keep those, uh, keep the uh, running speed uh, commented because they, they're just like C. They're just adding another speed modifier. I don't know why you want another speed modifier, but if you want to play around with those, you can. I, I don't see the difference, to be honest. And see what I did here? I accidentally forgot to uncomment that stuff. That's the kind of stuff that's going to get you guys. You're going to get into the game. You're going to be like, why can't I fly up or something? And probably, most likely, it's because you forgot the uh, to uncomment it by uh, removing the number sign. So, go ahead, let's keep scrolling down here. Running speed, I told you. Yeah. Cl no clip is where you can fly through the wall. Uh, I don't use that, but that's a pretty cool feature. I, I don't use it because I got the early flying mod, and I haven't really bothered to go back and uh, you know, change that and enable and whatnot. But that is no clip. It will allow you to fly through walls. Pretty cool. Uh... And that's just more no clip stuff. Running speed multiplier. This is where you can uh, get your speed for your flying. So 1.5 is the default. If you want to fly a little bit faster, um, actually no, that is running speed multiplier. That is when you run. Like I said, I'm not gonna really be going over that. But if you want to get a multiplier going, you can go from 0.1 to 10.0. So vertical speed multiplier, that's when you're going up. When you're flying up, that's the speed you'll be going. Vertical s movement speed. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. I, it's like I said, um, the running, the sprint is new to this mod. Sp that means when you're sprinting and you go up, that's the, mo the modifier, the speed modifier, multipl uh, multiplier. Jeez, I'm stumbling across my words right now. Um... So go on and leave those blank unless you want to play around with those. Vertical speed movement, that is where normal speed, that's where your normal speed without holding the C or uh, the uh, speed mod modifier. Jeez, these words are tripping me up. Um, and so I normally will get that around like 1 point, uh, 0 0.5. Uh, that's what I like. So let me go ahead and uncomment that. And then movement speed multiplier. Um, go ahead, I'd say 3.0, uh, that's what I use, movement speed multiplier with speed modifier, that means the speed you'll be going when you're holding C, I put 5.0 for that, um, and then jump speed multiplier, that's when you're jumping, how fast you'll be going and how far, I guess, I just leave that alone. And other than that, I don't really understand too much about this. I guess that's just your jump height. And like, how high do you want to jump? Um, over a fence. So you can jump over fences if you wanted. The height is 1.5. And yeah. So anyway, guys, that is it for the flying mod. And that's all I'll be going over. I guess I'll go ahead and test this out for you guys to show you that it does work. So let's go ahead and go into Minecraft now. And when you're doing this, guys... Uh, I don't know, I f forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video. It's not a big deal, but if you have Minecraft open, it's not going to immediately sink in, sink in the changes. Go ahead and, uh, if you have Minecraft open right now, close it, then reopen, and then your flying mod will be on there. Uh, just so, just to let you guys know. Uh, let's go ahead and just go to test here. And let's find out. There it is. I clicked X right now, and I am flying. I'm going to go up. Ooh, and then here's my multiplier. You'll notice I'm going a little bit faster if I hold it down. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this guy this helped you out a little bit. Um, I know many of you are probably still uh, a little bit confused. So go ahead and leave a comment if you are still a little, still a little bit bamboozled, and I will try my best to help you out. Remember, guys, when a video gets old. Um, you'll, you'll see the date. If it's like a week or two old, I may not comment back to you guys for like a good day to f three or four days, depending on when I see the comment and how fast I want to respond to it. Because if I have other recent, more recent videos out, I'm going to be commenting on those and commenting on a video that's a month old. 
well, it gets kind of old having to repeat myself, and that's why in my permissions one, I just, I had enough. I was just like, okay, guys, if you really need help, go ahead and uh, uh, private message me. And if you guys private message me, I will get your message. I will respond. Uh, the chances of me responding are like 90% compared to like a 45% with the uh, commenting. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. You can also add me on Skype. Um, my Skype username is Donuts, D-O-N-U-T-T-Z hyphen hyphen. So that's two hyphens. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, if you need help with that, you can add that Skype. You can PM me. You can leave a comment. I'll hopefully respond. But like I said, that's the lowest amount of chance you'll get a response. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day.